just this last fall, in October of 2020. Whatever it is I encountered, a dogman, or werewolf, or were-man, I must have really pissed it off. For starters, every year, my father and I always stick up large salt blocks for the deer around here. We get a lot, especially some pretty good four and five pointer bucks. It never fails. This last fall though, we barely saw any, and I'm not sure why. That is, until we ran into this thing. On the far back side of our land, my father has several different deer stands set up, each one pointing over to a different direction, all about a half mile apart. I'm not sure which one he was in, but I guess he got a good sight on a four-pointer, went to fire, and saw it taken down by this large, what my father described to me, as an Anubis-looking being. Anubis being like the Egyptian gods. Human, except having a very stark, sharp-featured dog head, covered in black, with incredibly large hands and claws, on the feet and hands. It scared my father so much that he retreated from his deer stand and came back up to the house. It told me exactly what happened. Not even a couple of hours later, this thing came stalking up the tree line, watching the couple does that were at the salt block. We could see it clear as day. It looked very menacing, very aggravated. Maybe it thought we were competing for its food, or so that's what I take it as. It appeared to back away after a short time, and we left it as is. That evening, it tried coming up to the house, where my father shot at it with his 45 multiple times, and I believe he hit it right in the chest as it came running towards our house on two legs, the same way a person would if they were running. My father, just like me, is a shoot now, ask questions later kind of guy. We're not really concerned with what it is or where it came from, but is it hostile? Is it coming to attack us or trying to take our life? That's all we really need to know before we fire a few shots at it. And while the entire situation is very scary, our lives are more important than asking questions. We shot at it, didn't seem to do much damage, even though this thing was clearly hit with a 45. There was also no blood, which was strange. We haven't seen it since. And within a couple of days of that happening, there was no more deer, and we haven't seen any, not even does, for the rest of the season. Even up until now, the beginning of March. It's extremely unusual not to even see one. We've gone looking around, and there have been no traces, not even deer sheddings. Usually, by the winter and fall, this place is packed full of dough. We even set up a few game cams right outside the salt block. Nothing. It's a little strange what's going on. We're beginning to suspect that whatever this Anubis wolf creature was, has ran off or eaten all the deer in the area. Thankfully, it hasn't tried to break into our house or attack us anymore. The last time we saw it was in October when it tried to attack me and my father. Maybe we've driven it off, and maybe it's taken all the deer in the area with it. Oklahoma City, in the beginning of summer of 2020. I believe that I saw a dogman pup. This ain't scary. It's just, at the time this happened, I had never heard of dogmen. Anyway, I'm a homeless drug addict. And the reason I'm telling you this is the reason I was walking out early that day is because I had to go meet my supplier. I say 6 a.m. the morning. And I was walking next to a large turnpike. I was about 700 yards away from my destination, where I was walking, and I could not see the cars passing by because of the way the turnpike was built. There was a drop down to the road itself. At the bottom was the roadway. Up at the top, it has a fence, and the fence is setting on top of a cement divider, and is played out like this, until you reach the off-ramp. I'm telling you this because that's where I seen the dogman pup. I was getting closer to my destination. I was looking slightly down at the turnpike and looking off to nothing as I come up to this part in the drums into the off-ramp. 
this big-headed puppy was pulling itself up to this hole in the fence. I'm assuming it made the hole for easy access. I say easy, because if you run straight across the street, there is a strip mall with a couple of restaurants that if you go in the alley, that's where they keep the trash. And I can assure you, that's where it was heading. I mean the hole comes right out across from the opening of the alley. Now, where I seen it, I was walking, and thinking, all of a sudden, I was just looking at this big-headed puppy. I mean, big-headed wolf pup. I think it's a pup, because it looked like a young dog or wolf. You know how you can tell a dog looks like a puppy, or a young dog, or a dog that's getting older? It was pulling itself up to the side of the cement wall, where the fence is. Sitting there is a big hole in the fence. It was in the middle of the hole. His front two paws was up on the wall, pulling itself up. You know how when you pull yourself up on the side of a swimming pool, like it was part of the way up, and I just happened to look and see it, and I was like, oh man. I mean, it looks so smart, like it's got a lot of intelligence. It didn't look mean. It looked surprised. I could tell it was thinking, oh man, now I'm spotted. We'll look for a second, never blinking, or anything, as my eyes came back to where the pup was. It was now gone. That's what happened at the time, and I had never heard of dogmen. I had heard of Bigfoot, but no other kind of creature. And I just happened to be on YouTube, and I started listening to a few different channels where I heard a story about this creature. Then I began remembering that big-headed puppy I seen that morning, and it was like, dang... It looks funny with such a big head and little body. It ain't the scariest, but it's really big and not too tall. I remember it having blue eyes. Very smart looking. It was gray. Really thick looking fur with white tips all over it. I didn't see its teeth or its mouth since it was closed. Its ears were like on the top of its head like a pit bulls when they're cut with like just a couple of curls of fur on the tip of them. I couldn't see the bottom half of it, but its front paws looked like they had long nails, like claws, that were being used like hands. And by the way, the way it was lifting its hands up on the wall and itself, it looked so surprised that it could not believe that it got caught. I believe it was going to the trash can in the alley that had the restaurant trash. As soon as it pulled itself up all the way, it just had crossed the lanes of road and be in the alley, not being that big of a risk. It had about 30 minutes of darkness left to go through the trash. Anyway, sorry if this was back and forth. I never really sat down and wrote a statement out, so I apologize. But I hope you've gotten the gist of my story. It's been a few Novembers since this happened but it's still terrifying all the same. Even typing it out still brings back really bad memories, but I feel it's an important story to share and really disproves the notion growing up that monsters don't exist because what my friend and I saw that night is something out of a Stephen King novel. Right before this happened, a very close family friend who I've been friends with for a very long time and still am close, her boyfriend of six years cheated on her and then dumped her, not only being emotionally distraught, but she was really needing company and did not want to be alone. Since I was free for the weekend and didn't have any plans, I offered to come stay at her place for the weekend. It would keep her mind occupied and keep her spirits high. I showed up, and we had a little bit of a girls' night, watching movies, eating popcorn, and just doing anything we could to keep her mind off her ex-boyfriend. Because of her not having the greatest finances in the world, she ended up with this little podunk place, kind of on the outskirts of town. A lot of woods around, but still very pretty, on the outside. It wasn't like it was run down or anything, just very small. But it was just her living there, when her ex would occasionally visit her when they were together. So what else more could you need? Since I was staying the weekend, about 11 or maybe midnight, my phone was down to about 9 or 10% battery, and I realized, oh crap, 
I left my charger and clothes in the car. Going out to my car to retrieve them and all my stuff, since I was staying the weekend, is right when I saw what looked to be or appeared to be a werewolf. I stepped out on her front porch, clicked the unlock button, and as soon as I was doing this in unison, the front porch light and my car lit up together at the same time, illuminating the entire area, which right before I clicked the button and before opening the door was pitch black. As soon as both lights came on, I was screaming and startled by what I saw. Standing maybe six feet behind my car, approaching the house, was this really tall wolf figure. Instantly, I felt like I was in slow motion, like my brain was scrambling to try and make sense of what it was intaking visually. I was seeing, right in front of me, the most realistic werewolf costume I had ever seen in my life. But as it was moving, and I could see its muscles working under its skin, and the way it was breathing and coming towards me. This was something straight out of a movie, or a Stephen King novel, which I would know. I've read a lot of his books growing up. I love him as an author. That's why he's the first thing I thought of when I saw this, or I believe the book is Silver Bullet, about werewolves. I was screaming, turned around, went back in the house, and locked the door. Now, as I'm coming back in the house, fumbling with my keys, trying to lock the door, my friend who's curious, but also now panicked, rushes to the window to see what's wrong. Then she begins screaming as she starts asking me, what is that thing out there? And sees it too. That's when she closes the blinds and we both run and dive into the kitchen, grab the largest knife she has and sit there, huddled together, crying. Within a minute, we hear this thing walk like a man would on two legs to the back door where her sliding glass door is. Luckily that had blinds on it too. And it was very aggressively trying to open the door as if it knew what handles were. So that means this was clearly a person in a costume, the most convincing one I'd ever seen or we were dealing with a real life monster. It was rattling the door very hard and then maybe after 10 or 15 seconds gave up paced around the house a couple of more times, trying to pound on the windows. Not heavily, because I believe if it wanted to, this thing possessed the strength to shatter a window. But it was like trying to find a weak point into the house, trying to get in. At one point, it wiggled the door handle, the front door, very violently, as if hoping it would release. It never did. We went through a period of time where we didn't hear it at all, but still too worried to get up from the kitchen floor, we decided to stay put, still crying, still scared. The only sound being the outside and the TV faintly going. About 12 minutes go by. I do remember this because I was looking right at the clock on the oven, which was right next to us on the floor, and perfectly visible. We heard a couple very loudly distinct pops. It sounded like something being blown up, or a large balloon popping. Two of them, actually. And then silence. We heard nothing. Eventually, my friend and I fell asleep, huddled next to each other, knives still in our hand. I was the first to wake up. I jolted my friend awake, telling her, we made it, it's morning, the light's coming out. It was about 7.45, maybe 8 a.m. at this point. It's almost winter, so the sun is kind of late on rising especially up here in the north. My phone was now dead, and because I had an Android and she had an iPhone, I had no choice but to go and grab my charger. I was going to figure something out, and could not let my friends stay here. She didn't have a car at the time, and she mainly got rides back and forth. As I went out to my car, I realized something horrifying. Even though the sun was up, and I was now no longer afraid to go out into the darkness, my two back tires on my Prius were completely flat. I was horrified. I walked over to check them out. It looked as if somebody had slashed them, and upon looking closer, something large had bit into them, popping them. There were huge holes in both the back tires, and they were completely flat, and I had already used my spare and never replaced it about a year or two ago before this. To make a long story short, I ended up calling a tow truck. 
I had the guy give me his personal opinion on what happened. He told me, you either have a very aggressive bear that bit these back tires, or you ran over some spikes. Something happened. Anyway, I took my friend with me back to my place, where she stayed for the next two weeks, before returning back to her house, only for a couple of days, before going to stay with her family for a couple of months, and then permanently moving up there. She eventually went back down, but only a day or two to collect her belongings, never staying overnight. Whatever happened that night, we don't talk about it. I wish I knew more about what it was that we saw. This woolly, hairy, shaggy, wolf-looking thing. But unfortunately, I'm not a biologist. Thank you for taking the time to read my encounter. I hope it's provided at least entertainment, if anything. Even if it is at me and my friend's expense.